What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Carmine and you're watching Super Carmio. In today's episode we're going to be doing a follow-up to the car check that we performed on this car. This is a B5 S4. Um, last time I drove it, if you didn't see that video, we did have a few problems. We had a few boost leaks as well as a clutch that was slipping. So we are back in business and pretty much everything has been upgraded, including this setup. Um, we're not using a GoPro here, I don't know if you could tell, but we are using a full-fledged camera and we'll see how it comes out, but I'm pretty excited about that as well. So for those of you who don't know, this is a 2001 and a half Audi B5 S4. It has the 2.7 liter V6 with twin turbos. Um, 30 valve head design, so that's five valves per cylinder. From the factory, produce a solid 250 horsepower, but of course this one has been upgraded with RS6 KO4s. Those KO4s do make quite a bit more power than stock, and at 25 PSI, I believe this thing put down 460 horsepower to the wheels, which is pretty solid, and that was on 93. On E85, I actually put down a whopping 560. So uh, this thing scoots, it is pretty quick. So in terms of the changes since the last time, um, of course we did replace the clutch. It's running a spec stage three. That's why there's a little bit of judder still. I don't know if you can hear that. It's still kind of getting broken in, but it's a little difficult to drive coming off on first, but other than that, it's completely fine. Um, it's great because it's actually holding all of the power. So uh, that's awesome. Boost leaks also have been resolved. There's basically an O-ring fitting um, where the turbo connects, so the inlet pipe that popped off. So that is resolved as well, and we are boosting a healthy 25 PSI. fading. Um, we also dropped it on RPF1s from my other S4, which I think suit the car really nicely. Um, they are 18 by 9 and they look super clean but also really aggressive, uh, if that makes sense. Um, just a huge fan of them on most cars. For this one it looks awesome. In terms of interior, we're still cleaning some stuff up have to install a new radio because the stock one gave out but other than that it's pretty much I would say almost like a finished project so uh, hopefully you guys can tell but this thing scoots it feels awesome so let's talk what the future holds for this car so engine wise it's pretty much good to go uh, like I might have mentioned before, it does have a built motor. Um, I don't really see us needing more power on this car. Um, so I think the main focus will be exterior and suspension. However, I would like to see what it puts down again on E85. Last time, like I said, I think it put down 560. So I'll just, I'm just curious to see how it is holding up. So most of the work I would like to have done pretty much suspension and exterior. This car used to have Stasis track sport suspension which was amazing. Fortunately those are no longer available um, so we had to run ST suspension on this which was just an okay setup I would say. Never really felt that good. It's a night and day difference to the Stasis setup um, so I think we'll probably look for something more motorsport grade. Uh, maybe like Owens or something like that. The 
braking department, this car is solid. It has a stop tech, make brake kit. Um, so I think suspension wise, you coil overs and then bushings all around, as well as a good alignment. Exterior wise, we did clean it up and it does clean up quite nicely. I think we do want to do maybe like an aggressive RS4 type bumper and then like a Euro rear. Um, but I think this car is kind of like the epitome of what a clean, classy sedan should look like. And most people probably wouldn't know how much power it's putting down, which is always nice to have that sleeper status.